going to be a little bit. <laughs> Look, there's shark. Shark out by your bait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, not your bait, your fish. It is your bait. It's, it's, big fish it's bait fish. now. Oh, yep, God. he's going to eat it. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Oh no. We're going to have to chase this shark. Oh no. Oh no. Should I want to eat it or no? No, no. Well, we kind of It's a grouper. It's a big grouper. Oh my gosh. We'll never land it though. Oh my God. I mean, it's not a shark. It's a huge grouper. Look at that. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Just let it eat. Oh my gosh. We got to get on the motor. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna eat it. it we're, we're away from the debris, so look at that. Oh no! He lost interest. You still see the grouper? No. Oh, okay. Not anymore. He saw the boat. Yeah, but still. Oh, he's back on it. He's back on it. The grouper's back yep, on it. Yep, yep, yep. He's chasing it away. Look oh, oh God, God. God, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Get the motor going. Okay. He has it, so he has it. Oh my God. So he is chasing, he's, it's, he, it's in his There's mouth? There's no way we'll land it on it's that. A, we're, it's all right, let's try. 20 pounds. It's With all right. tiny treble hooks. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Boom, here we go. We got a barn door on. Oh we got us a barn God. door. Goodness. Barn door, right, hooked up. <laughs> That was cool. Dude, I'm not a big motor, probably. But I guess they don't tie around like crazy. Uh, it's just, oh, oh. snap. That, did you get that strike? Yeah. That was oh, nuts. Yeah, sure. That was freaking cool. That <laughs> was nuts. <laughs> this ocean still was lost. Dude, Dude that, was, that was 200. I mean, not it was, even, it was, yeah. yeah. It was like a barrel. <laughs> it was amazingly fast for such a big fish, though. Yeah. I mean, he was right on that thing. And to have them hit top water, that was cool. Somehow 20 pound braid is just not enough. <laughs> So day five oh, in the books. That was, wow, that was not, no. Yeah, I think we should keep that. <laughs> Anyways, so day five is in the books. Uh, yeah, probably the coolest thing I've ever seen and probably will see for a long time that was so cool. That Gro just smashing a mackerel on the top. But I suppose we should probably reverse a little bit and say how did we get to that point? So we're back at the can. Yeah. I like the can. It's, it's kind a of cool a good spot. spot. Doesn't look like much, but there's no. fish around. There's a lot of fish around. 
it's actually a pretty major yeah. confluence of, yeah. of a lot of water meeting together, a lot of the intercoastal waters meeting up with it. You're finally able to get back to that spot. The wind led up that day just a tad, not much, but just enough that we can get the toughy out there. And hold an anchor yeah. position, yep. Yep. which happened to be downwind from a boat that was had the chum block out. That was another thing, the chum block. Yeah. Uh, so we're kind of in their wake, basically. <laughs> right. And they were pulling uh, uh, yellow tails, yellow tails and everything left and right. Small little fish. And, they uh, they yeah. were meat fishing, yep. and we wanted everything that wanted their meat. Yep, exactly, exactly. So we anchor up on this spot, and you know, precisely located downwind from the <laughs> yep. boys. Yep. And the fish started to show up. I mean, there was mackerel everywhere, yep. and yep. which are tasty. Oh, right, right. Those were yummy. We had we enjoyed those, those. Yep. definitely. We I actually we filleted fish, which <laughs> is pretty happen. rare for me. Yep. Uh, at any rate. Uh, we're throwing these Rapala twitching wraps, yep. primarily, which is the salt water. It's basically a husky jerk with no lip, and you just kind of bang, 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 stop, bang, 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 forth, stop. Yeah. Ooh, that they kind of like that they, thing. Yep. yep. Uh, so, so Danny boy, <laughs> he is, has all the crazy action. <laughs> yeah. What is it with Dan? You know, that's why we bring Dan along because yeah. he catches three muskies at once. <laughs> you know, uh, exactly. things like that. Yep. Yep. So Danny boy's hooked up on uh, just a, a nice mackerel, yeah. probably eight to 10 pounder. And well, and we see there's a shadow. A big, big shape. We're all yelling, oh, it's a shark, it's a shark. It's, no, no, it's not a shark. No, it's a big smallmouth. That's what that was. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's the proverbial Volkswagen yeah. sitting on the reef on the yeah. edge of the drop off there. So that grouper had one thing on its mind and it was to get that mackerel in its mouth. And yep. it pretty much, uh, it. It did succeed it. Yeah, in the coolest way possible, smashing that thing right on top. I wish it was a little closer, but hey, we got some pretty cool, but, cool footage of that. Thing. But even before that, we got to see it kind of oh, drive by down. the boat. Yeah. It was hunting down yeah, that yeah, mackerel. So yeah. we saw it actually fairly close to the boat. And then once the mackerel caught wind of what was happening, he made a beeline and was gone. And that's when crunch time yeah. happened. Yeah. So just amazing footage. Just to see the age old theory is oh, there's right. always a bigger oh, right. fish in the ocean and sure enough that Boom, was the bigger sure. fish you know and that was the first time i had ever seen anything like that i mean i've seen musky grab largemouth bass or panfish or whatever but uh how many of you guys have had right. an experience like this comment below yeah, we'd like yeah, to hear no, your no, stories sure. too uh what fish ate the fish you were trying to reel in <laughs> kind of a theme down there yeah big time big time yeah so once once our buddy the uh uh the volkswagen beetle yeah, yeah. mr giant smallmouth yep. once he kind of was happy with his yeah. meal of the mackerel um the water other was, things started to yeah. happen well at that time the water was actually really clear on that spot it wasn't so windy and we were seeing some of Oh the my kudos gosh. that we were dreaming about forever. We're, I mean, we're all around oh us. Yeah. We are surrounded. Packs of 45 to 50 inches. Just crazy. Just, yeah. If we would have just had uh, a half dozen blue runners or whatever. Lights out. Would have been lights out. We were throwing uh, chaos Poseidons. Yep. They we wouldn't were throwing, look at it. No, they wouldn't look at any artificial. It was so frustrating. They had meat on the mind, it, that's for sure. It just proves you got to have that yep. live bait, yep. especially those clear water conditions. Had at least one blue runner, and uh, that thing got smoked. <laughs> yeah, that the, lasted about the, 10 seconds. The, that kuda was literally eight feet in the air, seven feet in the air. It, so cool. Before you even were hooked up with it, it was just... Oh, yeah, I didn't even know I had a bite, and there's fish flying next to the boat. It's like, oh, wait, I, insane, I guess we insane. have that on. Yep, yep. Uh, not long enough, though. Yeah. So then the feeding window was kind of done. Mm -hmm. The fish kind of dispersed. The tide obviously changed. And uh, and then Dan actually he didn't feel good. Something. He, he had, had a headache or something. He had major headache. Yep. And he's like, dude, I got to go back. I just do not feel good yep. right now. So we took him back and headed back. And we're like, okay, well, this is a pretty cool spot where right, we are. Right. We'll just fish from shore here. Well, we actually got done um, we filleting like a cerro or Spanish mackerel. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways. We throw the carcass in, off the shore there, and uh, sure enough, sharks just come, 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 oh, yeah. come in, and uh, we start using that as cut bait and catch a little one. Got, got a little guy. It was cool to see. Never saw one up close before, so right. we got a little nurse shark to uh, pretty much end the day. So that's a wrap of day five. Uh, feel free to comment below your crazy fish yep. eating fish stories. We yep. love to hear about it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for the next Florida Keys episode.